Hello everybody and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today we have a special guest from Micron in our studio. Everybody, I want you to meet John. How are you today, John? I'm great, thank you. Great to be here, Steve. Well, thank you so much for coming in. I mean, I, I, I'm looking over to my left and I'm seeing a very small SSD, which gets me kind of excited because uh, I actually know a little bit about the performance of this SSD and it's amazing. I can't wait to talk about it. So let's kind of just dive right in if you don't mind. Great. Okay, uh, actually before I do that, I should mention one, one small thing in case those of you who actually don't know out there, uh, Crucial and Micron. Crucial is a subsidiary of Micron, is that right? Well, we are part of the Micron Consumer Products Group, so okay. Crucial is a brand of Micron. That's a much better way of putting it. And uh, we have, uh, have products in lots of different channels, specifically Today, we're focusing on our products that are in the e-tail channels. Fantastic. Okay, to, to, to speak to that, this is basically a replacement for your mainstream M500 Crucial SSDs. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. The so. MX100 is our latest uh, mainstream SSD product offering. All right, John. So one, one of the really cool features in terms of performance for this SSD I've read is, the, is Micron's 90 series NAND. So can you tell our, our audience a little bit about that? That's right. This product incorporates our brand new 16 nanometer NAND. Very cool. And uh, it's a significant advancement for the company. Uh, it enables price performance like we've never been able to deliver in a mainstream SSD before. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, so you went from 20 to, to 16 nanometers now. So how does that affect or help performance? Well, performance is definitely part of it. Uh, I think what's really exciting to us is that this product leverages uh, considerable legacy of firmware mm. and engineering over from past generations of SSD products. Nice. And you put that together with our new 16 nanometer NAND, mm -hmm. and you have a platform that not only performs equally to previous generation products, it performs better in many cases. Uh, this is a significant advancement for a mainstream SSD product offering. Very, very cool. So uh, in terms of, of, of kind of like shrinking the NAND, I want to say that usually that affects longevity. What mm -hmm. have you guys done to maybe offset mm -hmm. that? Well, I think I'd like to kind of maybe return to that sure. focus on the firmware because okay. what we've learned uh, over the last few years in uh, building these SSDs is incorporated directly okay. into this MX100, and that enables us to actually have a... Uh, MTTF of 1.5 million hours on this product, mean wow. time to failure, yeah. which is equal on equal to our premium product offering, uh, which is pretty unique when you think about it, given that this is a brand uh, brand new NAND offering within this drive. Wow, fantastic. Okay, so moving forward from that, what about the feature set in mm -hmm. this product? Mm -hmm. Well, this product incorporates all those things that customers have come to expect from a crucial product. So. Excellent power savings, uh, consistent performance regardless of the data type, all those things are there, those things that consumers have come to depend upon for, from a crucial product. I think some of the things that we're really excited about in this are the fact that we're incorporating our uh, best-in-class encryption in this product. So the same type of encryption that you get on our M550 product, you get on this product. Wow. You also are getting our power loss protection. Uh, that enables this drive to maintain data integrity, even if the power is cut to the drive. Uh, your drive makes it, uh, makes it onto the, your data makes it onto the drive. Whatever it was last, so, yeah. whatever hot cache data was, yeah. makes it onto the drive. Makes it onto the it. drive, and that's, those are features that are pretty unique to Crucial in a mainstream type product offering, because those are things that you usually see on enterprise class products or premium class products, and we're proud to integrate them into a mainstream offering. Yeah, that's, that's great actually. So let's say I'm a, I'm a company and I don't, I don't want to pay for maybe the premium uh, prices that a premium product would have, but I still want to have some of that encryption mm -hmm. or some of that other enterprise level uh, quality. Mm -hmm. You could just drop by into this possibly and do that. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I will make sure to emphasize here though that this is not just a product for corporations. Mm -hmm. uh, this is also very much a consumer product and we think that consumers are actually interested in things like encryption and power loss protection because you don't know exactly what environment you're going to be in. Uh, right. We also have a very uh, very powerful thermal uh, thermal um, adjustment mechanism within this so that this drive is going to perform consistently regardless of the type of environment it's so maybe, in. So maybe if it's running a little bit hotter, maybe the environment that it's in is, maybe the ambient temperature is too high, then it's going to just do what it needs to do in order to make sure that it stays consistently working. Exactly. And not just die exactly. or shut down. Okay, so John, are, are you 
coupling this with any software maybe to help others to transfer their current drive over to one of the brand new Crucial MX100s? We are. Uh, in fact, we include a download code oh. for a Cronus true image in every box. Nice. And we really listened to our customers on this, and uh, they were telling us not only do they want an easy way to physically install the drive, mm -hmm. uh, they want an easy way to transition from what they have currently in their system uh, to a new drive. Well, that's fantastic. So basically, the bottom line is you're listening to the customers as, as much as you can and implementing whatever it is that they, they maybe feel is the best for them. So fantastic. I love it when a company actually listens to uh, their customers. So. I want to ask you a couple more questions. Uh, so form factors, I know there's a lot of, a lot of uh, spice and, and guff out there about M.2 and maybe even SATA Express. And what are we looking at for form factors for the MX100? The MX100 is going to come in a two and a half inch form factor. Okay. Now, MSATA, M.2, both incredibly important form factors to us. And nice. those will continue to be available in our M550 and M500 product lines. Great. But this is really focused on advancing the two and a half inch form factor. Okay, okay, that's fair enough, fair enough. And uh, let me go ahead and grab this because I actually want to show you guys a, a close up of the drive itself. Um, it's, it's very nicely constructed. It looks like you guys are using a, a metal casing around it, obviously to transmit the heat, I'm assuming. Yes. Um, and uh, it's got the nice Crucial logo there on the front, MX right across there in blue. Flip around to the back, give you a little bit of information about the model itself. Actually, speaking of that, uh, John, what is the what's the controller you're using on this model? We're using a Marvell 9189. It's okay. the same family that we've been using within our Crucial products for quite a while, and Excellent. again, leverages that consistency and legacy and firmware. Excellent. And then standard uh, SATA Rev 3 6 gigabit per second interface. Yes. Excellent. Uh, okay, uh, other than that, what capacities is the drive coming in? Well, the drive's available in 128, 256, and 512 gig capacities. I do want to emphasize that the 16 nanometer NAND that we discussed earlier mm -hmm. is available on the 256 and the 512. The 128 uses the same 20 nanometer NAND that we've used okay. in previous generations. So you products. can expect the, the same performance for the 128 gigabyte model, but if you want to have the, the next leap, the Micron 90 series, and you want to go with the 256 or the 512. Well, the performance does scale as okay. you go up in the product line. Okay. But I want to emphasize that the performance on MX100 is better than M500 at every capacity. Yeah, it looks it looks so good. The numbers that I've seen so far. Uh, so I'm I myself am a gamer, John. So yes. I'm always looking for uh, best bang for the buck. I want to know uh, best performance for the cheapest price point, and and what can you speak to about the MX100 as to that? Well, I've got good news for you. <laughs> this drive focuses on price, but it focuses on performance. This is delivering a really really good. Uh, mix thereof. Uh, nice. From an application standpoint, this drive, while it's a mainstream drive, is going to be comfortable in gaming environments, in video environments, uh, many high performance type environments. Okay, definitely. Um, I know we're going to be doing a, a separate video for this soon. Uh, we'll put some benchmarks up so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, I'm really excited to see what we get out of this. So is there any, any final closing thoughts you wanted to give our audience, John, before we part ways? Well, we're really excited to be introducing the MX100 to you. This drive incorporates a lot of new technology from Micron, and we think we've brought a platform to market that really enables you to have both speed and capacity. You can have it all. Excellent. Yeah, definitely. And I, and I will. I will be purchasing one of these. I'm very excited. Well, John, thank you once again for coming in. I appreciate you and, and for bringing in these brand new drives, letting us do some tests on them and do other videos. So thank you for that. Steve, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you guys also for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, to click the like button. And if you haven't already done so, click subscribe to any of our various YouTube channels. And we will see you guys very soon.